Welcome back to Memoria. My microphone's a little lower than I want it to be when I set up. Alas, even though the microphone stays connected at all times this time around, uh, I still adjust it occasionally. Though, alas, with that. Let's... Have we been to the shore yet? Is there even any reason to be here? He certainly isn't here. Otherwise, they would have found him. Okay. Oh, I see what we're looking for now. He's saying we're trying to find whatever his name was. Magic Evil Man. Can I go further into the bog? Maybe Nothing not. to be done the normal way. Well, shucks. It needs to be tied down on both banks, or it'll be too unsafe to cross. Well, shucks. Looks Wait, like hang on. We have repair destruct. How do you like that? And there's a person here. Hey, come out of there. You aren't the messenger at all. By the twelve, how much longer is this gonna take? You look upset. Upset? I'm furious. We've been waiting for instructions ever since we got to this bog, but the messenger bearing our orders just won't show up. If you see him, send him here. All right. Do you think the Ptolemedes were here? No, they most definitely weren't here. Nobody would come here voluntarily, and if they did, then they've long sunk into the bog. <laughs> Where can I find the messenger? How do I know? He's carrying a torch and running from group to group, but he doesn't dare come here. Got Good it. Luck. Thanks. Okay. Well, coming over to this side of the river, we can go ahead and re-destroy the bridge we fixed. We just want to talk to him over there. Cool. Now if we leave, we'll see that the glow is over by the rock right now. If we come over here, I guess we can talk to you if we wanted. Sir Rathling. Garon. I said they say. I'll keep looking. Farewell. Farewell, yes. Let's use this spell. You can see a magic glow. Ooh, magical. And Messenger Man is here. Talk! Are you the messenger? Unfortunately, yes. Right now, I just want to sleep. Okay. Uh, why don't you go into the moor? Have you been to the search party in the marshlands? <sighs> I'd hoped nobody would notice. That so far off the beaten track, I thought I could skip the marsh until there are new orders. Well, the group leader is pretty angry. Yeah, yeah. I'm on my way. He's gonna try and go to the bog, but... He has failed. Well then, nighty night. Sleep. My scroll. What does he even say? It's enchanted, so the mages should believe that I'm the messenger. Got it. All right. Let's go to the hey, woods. Yep. They're not here either. Didn't mean to do that. I meant this woods. The woods where there's people. Hey, look, I have a scroll. There are new orders. Boy, is this man the messenger? He's carrying the messenger's sign, at least. That's enough for me. What are the orders? Your group is supposed to break off the search in this part of the forest and move on. Along the river? We just came from there. Well, all right. Orders are orders. But I'm not going to abandon this whole section of the forest. You stay here, boy. Shout if you see anything suspicious. Yes, ma'am. They are all gonna leave that area and go light up that segment That's of one the down. forest. And of course, you're still here. But we can trick him. You remember what we did last time, right? With the bird named Nuri tricking him? Well, we get to do it again. Nuri, this I took me so long to figure out on the first time, by the way. Uh, I tried to lure the search party away from the girl. Nice. What? Who's there? Hey, there's somebody here. Come quick. Hurry up. I'll be gone soon. Hey, where are you? Just wait. I'll get you. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. He's gone now. Well done. Cool. So now, 
with him gone, we can talk to the tree. You can come down. They're gone. Where's Papa? That's what I wanted to ask you. He's at the waterfall. You really do have a talking raven. I found Fahi and sent him to the waterfall like you wanted. There are a lot of people between here and there. I'll try to smuggle the girl through. Maybe Bryder can help me. Hurry! Those hunters seem to be smarter than you. <laughs> we got this far, didn't we? Into the tent. Well, the troops have waited long enough. Your strategy cost us time. I'll give you one last chance. What's our next step? You again. Your little visits are starting to annoy me. Get lost. Wait. Maybe he has something important to tell us. He's been creeping around you for days. You probably aren't aware that you have assets other than your strategic skills. I don't ever want to see you around my successor again. Do you understand? I... out. Jerk. And now back to our problem. Don't disappoint me. This is my chance. Bryder has to move the troops so the path to the waterfall is clear. But how do I tell her that without him finding out? Well, let's steal his lamp! And if we come back here... I think I already cut the tent open from earlier. Unless they resealed it. It's just like I left it two days ago. It's just... Which means it should be torn open, right? Ah. Just make a little tear. Fine, I guess that's sealed up. Whatever. You can't be serious. Have you forgotten everything I taught you about the high art of strategy? If I didn't know better, I'd think you were delaying us on purpose. But what if they really did summon a demon? Demons are chaotic entities. They don't act according to our rules. We need to be prepared for anything. All right. But be aware that you're walking a very fine line. I gave you the command solely out of my belief in your skills. I can take it away from you just as easily. The future of our kingdom is at stake. As if this stinking hole ever had a future. This is your last chance. What's your next order? Hmm. I have to give her a sign somehow. You know, maybe don't say that aloud. This is the situation. We have no eyes on the northern forest, but we can't move too far from the town and risk leaving it unprotected. I suggest sending out a couple of scouting parties. Andra's group should move out of the region north of the stones and head for the oak wood. That would create a gap in our position. It would be easier to sneak past us. But the town would be safe. There's a lot of fear and anger amongst the troops. We shouldn't mindlessly risk our safety. Fine. I'll give the order, but if I find out that this is a deliberate attempt to confuse us, then may the gods have mercy on you. It would be an act of high treason, and I don't want to see your head under an axe. Don't worry, it won't come to that. Made it. Geron, wait. I'm sorry I'm causing you so much trouble. Oh, nonsense. We have a problem. A second search party is supposed to go towards the waterfall. I'm ordered to lead it. Oh, no. That's where Fai is. Yes. I'll try to lead them astray, but it won't be easy. Stay calm. I'll take care of the rest. Hmm. This isn't quite as exciting as the Gorian Desert, but still. I'll see you. <laughs> Treason. Well, Most exciting. Doing. I must say, Giacomo didn't promise too much. You're a true hero, Garon. I am deeply in your debt. Don't rejoice too soon. Ryder's search party is still nearby. We have to be careful. When the night is over, we'll leave Andergast. The weather is much too cold, and the people know nothing about hospitality. But what about our deal? The deal is off. What? <laughs> I mean that you no longer have to solve the riddle. You saved my daughter. That's more than I ever asked of you. Does that mean you'll change Nuri back? Yes, that is... No, I won't do it. He will. Oh no. Don't worry. He's a friend. Salam, Geron. 
I think it's time to stop playing hide and seek. Who are you? Although, you probably have a good idea. Who are you? Oh, you've long suspected, haven't you? Once a man, and a magic staff, and now, somehow both. I look terrible, but not half as terrible as the things I've seen. What do you want? Why are you here in Andergast? What are you looking for here? To understand that, you need to know how Sage's tale ended soon. Geron is no longer involved in our business, I'm afraid. Really? Pity. I imagine you have many questions, right? Yep. Don't say you're ready till you've an or asked everything to your heart's content. You petrified all the people. Correct. Fahi and I have an agreement. He helps me solve the riddle, and I protect him from unfriendly rabble. That grey-haired mage, on the other hand, I petrified solely out of self-preservation. He stole my princess's ruby. Okay. How have you lived so long? Even in this shape, I'm still an indestructible magic staff. Time alone won't kill me. And I had a great deal of time in my life in which no one wanted to kill me. To say nothing of even knowing that I existed at all. What's going on with Sadia's story? Why do I keep dreaming about it? There is a hole at the end of her story, and Fai is helping me fill it. Her tale has not yet ended, and I'm here to change that. The dreams aren't Sadia's memories. They're yours. Quite right. That's why I couldn't show anyone what happened in Draconia. I lay there, all day long on a laboratory table, feeling sorry for myself. What's so special about the ruby? It was sacred to my princess, and thus also to me. Moreover, it's the key to the mask. We may still need it. I've had enough of all this. I want you to transform Nuri back. How can you do that anyway? I learned it in the astral currents in the Gorian Desert. Tell me when you're ready, and I'll fulfill your wish. We're ready. I'm ready. All we lack is the bird. Nuri, you're just in time. We did it. What? The staff. I mean, this man. He was the staff. Whatever. He, he will change you back into a fairy. Why into a fairy? And who are you, anyway? Oh, no. It was nice meeting you. Farewell. Nuri! Nuri! Come back! Did you hear that? There's somebody at the waterfall. Geron, they heard you. I'll take care of it. No. Don't. Please. Too many people have been petrified. Do you want us all to die? No, I... Nuri, do something, but don't spill any blood. No blood. And no petrified attackers. Your wish is my command. We're too late. Even more have been transformed. There! The Tulamede is stuck in one of the pillars. Oh, he's trying to hide. Smash him. I don't think so. Brider? Ugh. Geron, can you hear me? You're safe now. Let me show you the final chapter in Sadja's journey. It's important that you understand what happened back then. That you understand me. Two days after the Flying Fortress had left Draconia, we finally reached the battlefield. Or as the clerics preferred to call it, the Vestibule of the Nether Hells. Oh, so this is where they took you. I've been looking for you for days. Oh. Another hit. I better hurry. For a hit, it was actually rather quiet. It's firmly locked. Can we use this to unlock it? Por favori. The cabinet is too sturdy to break with the mace. Then what isn't? No, it's totally blunt. Pretty much useless. I need something better. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and put these two together. It's not intended to fit, but it works. And see, this will work. The cabinet is too. Actually, it might re be better for reaching that. None of the weapons are long enough to reach from here. How about this? That's a shield we could get. I can't cut down the shield with this. Why not? It's perfect. Fine. I can't get the blade around the corner to cut through the loops. Ugh. The mace. The mace. The stuff. Did I miss something? We can take a vine. There's also this! Cool. Put that on that. A strange construction, but perhaps I can use it to reach places that were inaccessible before. You can. Also vine. My vine. And then we should be able to do this, I hope. Actually, is that the vine? I want this. <clears throat> Come to me, shield. Loud sound. It's heavier than it looks. Cool. Now we can go ahead and lay these two things down. Whoop. And we'll put this down. And is that enough? I'll try to tie them together. No, it doesn't work. The blade of the sword would cut through the vine and break it. Well, we can still get up. We'll just do it that way. That works. Cool. We'll take the halberd. And then we really can't get that, I guess. The glass is too thick. Can I just break it? I can't swing the halberd well enough. No, we can't. We'll just go ahead and climb back down. I actually kind of want to observe the ballots going on out there because there's a... Uh, you are so lucky that that didn't collapse. The impact made the armory lose some height. I can no longer reach the passage. That's fine. I was more wanting to get comments on the battle, but whatever. Doesn't open. Work. I need more weight to pry open the cabinet. Man. I can see that by the gleam. Stop it. I'm just going to take everything back now. Make all this. Let's see here. Can't do that. The mace is now longer than the... Okay. Wait, which one of these is supposed to work? The extended mace is this one. Will this work for that for some reason? Oh wait, I see what's up. The cabinet is too... Hang on. So, I'm getting ahead of myself. This can go back down. This can go back down. Yes, the halberd. And then the shield goes on. And then we'll climb back up. As one does. She does it so well. And then we'll go ahead and whack this. I'll take the thing apart first. All right. Nice. And now you have a giant sword. You carry that heavy sword well, Sadia. Just saying. You should be proud. You should also be very lucky that that didn't harm you again. It's behind thick glass. Can I break it? Maybe? No. If the floating stone is damaged any further, will crash to the ground. And who knows, maybe that's what we want, Sadia. Did you think of that? The sword should be able to do the job. Finally. Nothing. So I need to open the cabinet some other way after all. That's just dumb. Ah! Okay. Oh, hi, here's an idea. A silly idea. Let's take everything we've collected so far. There we go. And then... I actually think we're gonna stop here. Because what we're about to do is we're about to load this bad boy up. 
and then cause a collapse to, you know, break open the cage. And then, yeah, we'll probably have dialogue, and I don't want that to be cut off. So see you guys then.